yeah, that's where we go, right into the shark pool here in the Sea Life Center in Munich because of the Samsung Galaxy Xcover 2 that shall resist water for 30 minutes in one meter depth. That's what we are testing. And it shall be dust resistant too, and we make a scratch test, a drop test, everything you want to. So it's a tough program, let's start immediately. Well, my friend Carlos back here, he's in his element, but the Xperia 2 wasn't. So now is the big question, how did it make it? And as you can see, I already fished it out freshly. It's still uh, very watery, but that mo that's no problem if it's just on the outside. The real problem is, and let me rip that off over here so that we just can have a look inside. And that's just only for preparation for the hanging up of the device. But as you can see right now, it's just real closed and we have to open it over here. And like that we go. And now, as you can see, it's not really dry inside, but the special ring over here around the uh, battery, that's a specific um, feature of the Xcover 2 and that means that, that the battery and the electronic devices inside are double uh, checked uh, and that's no problem because uh, if you have some water drops around here in the camera or maybe down there that's no problem at all at least at the as the electronic devices are dry and now is a big time to open and to lift the battery cell and as you can see it's totally dry below and even around the battery cell itself and no water at all and that's a point and that's because I guess the device would work for an hour uh, in one meter um, uh, depth water that's no problem I guess and as you can see that's the thing we have to be aware of that not to um, switch it on again if you might have bring uh, brought in by yourself some water and um, some uh, problems for that so please take care and clean it up and dry it first before you restart it or at best uh, leave it as it is and uh, leave it closed and let it um, dry for itself. That's the best I guess you can do. But for the first, uh, I have to say, test done and uh, yeah, well done, I'd say. It's uh, dry enough. All right, waterproof it is, but most people would like to know, is it Gorilla Glass 2 or whatever it is, it is scratch proof. And here we go. That's a typical keychain. Uh, over here and as you can see I'm doing it 
really hard as I can imagine over here. Oh, and a little bit scratching maybe too. And now let's shut down the display so that we can have a look. All right, here we go. I hope you can see. And as you can see, you see nothing. So no scratches, no harm at all. That's Gorilla Glass 2. Thank you. Well, it was hard to find some dust over here, so much nature. So I hope you agree that this uh, sand and little rocks will do it also. So I will have it uh, over here and wrap it around some times from the front and from the back and from the sides and that's the hardest thing I guess you could uh, do with your smartphone because if it's uh, water resistant of course there will no uh, be, uh, there will won't be some dust inside but nevertheless let's see how it looks like and especially that smooth uh, backside here is of course um, scratched uh, that's uh, uh, you can imagine sure if it because it's soft material and on the sides we have some um, yeah scratches too and on the on the panel side on the display I hope you can see that there's no scratch at all it's a working Finally, of course, the drop test. Like always, we're doing it from a, let's call it, hearing height or something like that. Like when you're walking and talking and occasionally you drop your phone, it will look like that. And now we'll have a look how the result is looking like on the phone. Here we go. And um, that scratches on the back we had uh, before, that's not coming uh, from right now. But as you can see, it's working. Touchscreen is working uh, perfect. Um, we just had um, a little problem on the side over here. Now, this one with the um, standby uh, button, that's this one. Uh, but nevertheless, um, it's working right now. And as you can see, no scratch at all on the screen and it's working perfectly. So that's what a, a nah, now. Oh, here, that's great to see. Now you can see the touchscreen isn't working anymore. And that comes, I guess, from one of those two buttons. And this uh, is a camera button and this is on off standby. Let's now try again. Okay, let's have a look. Back to the home screen. Now it's working again. So that's what I meant. That could be a, a problem over here with that mecha mecha mechanical um, buttons on the side. That can have problems uh, from falling down. But as you can see, normally you could um, remove that problem and work with your phone nevertheless. It's not a beauty anymore, of course, but it works and that's what an outdoor smartphone should do. So in this case, again, thumbs up. Well, that was a long and hard day, not for me only, but especially for the Xcover 2, of course. But it approved all tests, doing a great job, and that has been much more than IP67 has given us. That's standing only for water-resistant and uh, dust-resistant, as you might know. That drop test came from me and everything else. And it's still running and working and alive, as you can see, and that's a great job. The only negative thing I have to um, tell you is concerning the backside, and that's not a scratch-resistant material, as you can see. That's, become it's, uh, that's because it's too smooth and I would use more robust material for an outdoor phone of course but on the other hand it's given the hand uh, the finger a good grip lying great in the palm and that's a good thing for an outdoor phone too of course so let's call it a compromise nevertheless all tests approved so thumbs up from my side and I'd say the Samsung Xcover 2 is a great outdoor phone I can tell you